Hello, my name is Winston Riley, and I'm the director of the U.S. Solar Coalition. I would like to later engage you in the conversation about how to get involved with our nonprofit, the U.S. Solar Coalition, especially on the education of K through 12. We're a nonprofit, and everybody can be involved. But that's not why I'm here today. I'm here to address Noam Chomsky's video that many of you have watched and have asked uh, lots of questions about. And I'm going to talk about Noam's video today, especially in that I got one of the comments came in that, okay, it's scary to hear what he said, but he didn't tell us what to do. So I'm going to tell, I'm going to address that uh, person that posted that comment with at least three things you can do starting now. First, you can share the video with everybody that you can think of and ask them to share it. I'm going to post another video without my intro, so it'll be shorter. His part is just 20 minutes. And as you know, in his uh, address to the U.S. Uh, solar industry in Albuquerque a few weeks ago, uh, it's a very pertinent and solemn message, and it needs to be heard. As it turns out, I put that video up for uh, the attendees who had asked me that if I could play that again so they could watch it. And so I captured it, I put it on YouTube and expected a few people to be able to watch it. But then it uh, started gathering a lot of views and just over a week it's had over 60,000. So it's gone around the world a few times and it's gaining 10 or 15,000 views a day. So the reason it's being shared and watched so much, obviously, is because the message is resonating with people. So it's an important message, okay? So the first thing you can do is share the video and ask people to share it. Secondly, uh, Gnome, uh, if you trace Gnome's roots in education back to what he started as a profession and got engaged in as a professor, it's linguistics. And he did that as a scientist and a breakthrough thinker. And you trace his roots back to the linguistics and the answer to this thing that he referred to, our loss of rational discourse, is, is, is discussed in his uh, point of view on how children develop language, okay? His theory that uh, children, it's not so much behavior, but there's something built in with humans. And the point is, as he as he said in the video, humans are a very unique animal, uh, at least in our planetary system, perhaps the universe. But what makes us so unique is that we have the ability to think and we have the ability to uh, talk, okay? And the reason we can talk is because we can think, okay? So you have the ability to listen to what Noam says then you can go and validate and research his points and you can decide whether you agree or disagree. Then if you agree and think it's important, you can talk, you can tell people the lesson, okay? So that's what's to do. Go tell people, help people wake up, use your mind to think about what to do and what you can do and start helping by using your rational thought so that we can return to a government that functions well because of our rational discourse, which is a frightening uh, strategy that the right has is using right now, that we have eliminated rational discourse. Look at the big lie. It's just one example of hundreds, if not thousands, of ridiculous conspiracy theories. For instance, the right has is implicated for this objection uh, or vaccine uh, effectiveness uh, denial. So that is crazy, and look where it's got us, okay? So this whole effort to you throw rational discourse out the window, it's very scary. And the way we can fix it is we need to return to a people and government that engages in rational discourse, okay? Now, as early as 2016, Noam Chomsky said in his book, Who Rules the World, in the afterword, that the most dangerous organization in world history is the Republican Party. Now, he's gone on to say that that may sound like an outlandish statement, and it may, and it does sound like it, but it's true. If you think about it, this strategy and what they're engaged in, especially this new crowd of this new fascist type of Republican Party, 
uh, it's, it's, they're out to destroy the species. I mean, not intentionally, maybe. They don't know or think that they're going to uh, exterminate the entire population of species of the human race, but that's where we're headed. Science shows that. And the reason you guys are sharing this video over and over and people are watching it is because you all believe it, okay? So, if we uh, are to uh, regain our, you know, our ability to work together, we have to get on a, on, on a track to return to rational discourse. And we have to take back the, ha the Senate and retain the House in the midterms. We only have a few months to do that. So whatever you can do, get engaged in your local races, your state races, your national races, volunteer, help a campaign, get on phones, whatever you can do, even if you can only bring in one person. I think that the Supreme Court's strategy by ruling on the uh, West Virginia versus EPA before the midterms was a mistake because I think the outpouring a protest with both Roe have been overturned and now this EPA ruling so that it cripples uh, national legislation that will benefit uh, our progress on fighting climate change. That taken together, I think, will work against them in the midterms and we can, we can parlay these things, okay? With the backdrop of this criminal war in Ukraine going on, uh, this uh, criminal outlandish idiot who should, should soon be indicted with our minority house leader, with this Supreme Court, with this so-called Republican Party, we have no choice but to get involved and in just a few months become active and win in the midterms. Folks, that's my only message for you right now. Get to work. It's up to us, and thanks for taking the time to listen.